Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris. I'm here to show you about my stock account and today's market update. So, recently U.S. stocks more rose more concentrated, but the leading market has changed. Berkshire, Eli, Lilly, and AMD has replaced Tesla, Apple, and Google. As the focus of the market shifted from AI hype to concrete results, the overall U.S. stock rally became more concentrated, but the divergence between giants gradually highlighted. Since 2024, the overall rally has been more concentrated on, um, on the on the seven big sisters of the tech companies, rather. However, the three companies with poor performance was replaced by Berkshire, Eli, Lilly, and AMD. U.S. stocks were more concentrated in 2023, just up just 0.2% on the S&P 500, according to a 4% gain on Sunday. Last year, the top seven companies contributed about 60% of the market's gains and about 80% of their earnings so far this year. Um, one investment director said that you see a difference between the big stocks increase even further and the overall earnings outlook for the company for the stock market is bleak beyond these companies. Data showed that the 271 stocks rose and 231 stocks fell this week. Annual, half of the stocks in the S&P 500 have fallen over the past year. At the same time, as the focus shifted from AI hype to concrete results, the giants gradually split, with Apple, Tesla, and Alphabet falling behind, replaced by Lilly, Berkshire, and Nvidia rivals AMD. The translocation represents that the collective rally of the previous seven sisters, based on the AI boom, has been broken, and the gap between giants have gradually widened. Four of the seven stocks continue to outperform the market, but Alphabet lacked the market, last Tesla and Apple were the biggest drivers. The latest results showed the unexpected weak Apple sales in China, and Tesla was hit by slowing growth. As things change, Berkshire and the dire drug maker Eli Lilly outvalues Tesla. Eli Lilly, which has nearly doubled over the past year based on strong demand for new diet pills, highlights a number of other themes that have inspired investors beyond AI. Falling inflation has raised hopes for an interest rate cut, driving a broad rebound at the end of last year. Analysts said, in recent weeks, however, investors are becoming cutting their expectations for the interest rate cuts. Lower interest rate raises the value of stocks, and the and Fed is, is still expected to start cutting interest rates later this year. But with most of the gains already booked, most investors don't think earnings ratio will rise further, increasing the importance of earnings in driving stock prices higher. By the time of earnings season, investors have already been very bullish on some of the large cap stocks, so the barriers to outperform are higher, and companies to need to provide additional benefits to gain traction to drive to drive stock prices higher. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.